Dear Lord, that can't be good. Let's turn that off. Man, this thing can control just about anything in my house. I wonder if it can control... Greetings Internet, it's Dustin again with my HomeKit Home, bringing you all things Apple HomeKit from news to how-tos to product reviews, just like this one. So if that's something that you're into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our new videos as soon as they're released. Now I don't know about you, but whenever I started my HomeKit journey, I kind of envisioned a house with no switches at all. You know, everything would be, you know, theoretically controlled either by motion sensors or contact sensors or, or by voice, really. I quickly realized that this is simply impractical and really denies us a fundamental way of how we interact with our homes. More importantly, however, a home kit home with no switches and buttons really denies us great potential for automation and control. Now, in the past, I've reviewed a couple of different home kit buttons from Hue, like their tap switch and also the smart button, but I thought since Acker has been making such a big name for themselves recently in the home kit world that we review their wireless mini switch. Now, if you're interested in picking up the wireless mini switch, you'll find a link to it in the description box down below. So let's jump into the unboxing and see what we get. All right, let's break this thing down, shall we? The Acura Wireless Mini Switch is a wireless programmable button with single, double, and long press actions, which can attach to just about any surface using the included double-sided tape. It does have panic button and doorbell functions, which we will get to in just a moment. As it is a Zigbee accessory, it does require either the Acura Hub or the recently released G2H Camera Hub. The company says it is capable of withstanding up to 50,000 presses and does require a user replaceable CR2032 battery which is included. It has a very wide operating temperature from negative 10 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius and has an operating humidity of 0 to 95 percent relative humidity non-condensing but no IP rating so don't leave this thing out in the direct elements. So let's go ahead and get our button set up. So from the My Home tab in the Acura Home app, we'll tap the plus button at the top right and we'll scroll on down until we find the wireless mini switch there. And we'll give her a tap there. We'll get this prompt. Ready to connect to child devices. And we'll go ahead and follow the on-screen instructions there. So we'll first want to remove the blue tape that is keeping our battery from making its contact. Once we've done that, we'll press and hold the button that's on the top of the device for three to five seconds until we finally get this prompt. Child device connected. All right, and we are connected there. So the first thing we'll want to do is choose which room it's in. And this is actually not bound to HomeKit. However, the device's name is bound to HomeKit. So you'll want to choose something that fits your device. Also, we need to choose who we can share this with. And this is specific to the Acura app there. So getting this device installed is pretty straightforward. You remove the the protective film there on the double-sided tape. We do get an extra double-sided tape in the box in case you kind of mess things up. And then we can mount it anywhere we'd like. So let's look at what we can do with this in the Acura Home app. Now there are a few different features that I wanted to point out here for the wireless mini switch in the Acura Home app and the first of which are logs. Here in the Acura Home app we have the ability to see the date and time and also whether it was a single, double, or long press of the device which can be really helpful especially if you have a panic button or a doorbell set up. The second feature I wanted to look at here and bring your attention to was the Zigbee signal strength. We can also see that here and then we find have the ability to update the firmware if that's something that we need to do. But you didn't come here for firmware updates, you came here for automations, of course. So jumping into the automations tab, if we track down our wireless mini switch here, we can see that for the if part of our statement, we have three different options. We have the single press, we have the double press, and of course we have our long press. So for the purposes of today's video, we'll be looking at the single press, but we're more interested in the actions, like other automations, scenes, push notifications, and even the 
delays. We can also use the wireless mini switch to control our Acura smart plug. However, I think you'd be more interested in knowing how to set up the doorbell function. So if we choose our Acura hub and then go into a play's ringtone, we'll find all the different ringtones here and there are a few that are more applicable to a doorbell. So let's have a listen to some of those. I'm not quite sure I get the joke. However, once we've selected our sound, we'll go ahead and tap confirm at the top right. Then we'll tap save again, and then we'll give our automation a name. I'll choose something just as simple as doorbell. We'll tap OK, and our automation is saved. So let's go ahead and look at what we can do with the wireless mini switch in Apple's home app. In Apple's home app, as you might expect, tapping on the device gives us the ability to change the name of the device. We can also see the battery life of it and we can decide which room it's in. We also have the ability to choose whether or not it's in our favorites, although I'm not quite sure why you'd want to switch in your favorites. Most importantly here, we'd have the ability to look at our actions, which are single, double, and long presses. So we really have a wide variety of options when it comes to the actions that we can assign. So we we can really go from anywhere. So for example, here I've got our Onva CS1 security alarm contact sensor, and we can adjust this to really you know, any of the modes there by long pressing on it, we can choose if it's the home, away, night, or even the off mode. So that's pretty useful for a button. We also can do, you know, just some things. We saw a lot of them at the top of the video, but we can also, for example, we can modify lighting. We can choose between our different color temperatures or different colors even. We can also, if we have the, for example, the pure flow air purifier, we can adjust the fan speed as well as lock and unlock the device, choose the different modes there as well. And finally, we can, just as we saw here, we can arm and disarm a security system if we have that. So that comes in pretty handy. This is one of the reasons why I really like HomeKit buttons. While Acura's wireless mini switch is a fantastic button, it's not all good in the hood. There are a couple of things that I would change about it. Now, the first of which, and this for me isn't really a big deal, but because it is a Zigbee device, it does require a hub. All right, so you can use either the Acura hub or you can use the recently released Acura G2H gateway camera. Um, both of those have their individual pros and cons and, and you know that's for another video however you will need some sort of hub for it. now the second thing i wanted to touch on today is the lack of an ip rating so while it does have pretty wide ranges in terms of its operating temperature and humidity it doesn't have an ip rating per se this is especially kind of weird for me considering that they are promoting it as kind of a makeshift doorbell so i would like to see a, maybe a bit of reinforcement in terms of ingress protection Lastly, I wanted to talk about the LED light that's on the device itself. So it does have an LED indicator and it's really only used to let you know that it's in pairing mode when you're setting up the device. I think it'd be nice to have this LED indicator kind of flash whenever you press the button just to give you some sort of visual feedback that some sort of signal has been sent. But other than that, I really have no complaints about it. The signal strength is super strong. It is super flexible, especially once you bring it into HomeKit and start using it with different HomeKit accessories. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about the wireless mini switch? What other HomeKit buttons are you using? Let me know in the comments down below. Also below the video in the description box, you'll find a link to pick up the wireless mini switch if you feel so inclined. And you'll also find a link to our written review on the blog over at My HomeKit Home, as well as links to our social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at My Home. As always, if you found today's video useful, you can let us and YouTube know by giving us a big thumbs up. It really does help out the channel and helps others find our content, and we really appreciate it. Now, if you're interested in more Acura-related content with a HomeKit lens, you can check out this playlist here, or you can check out this video here. And of course, if you made it this far and you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Well, that's a wrap on another one. Folks, I do thank you for watching, and until I see you in the next one, this has been Dustin with my HomeKit Home.